Hey, Facebook friends, it's Tuesday afternoon. Thanks for checking in. Uh, beautiful day today, a little cloudy, uh, but uh, we're all uh, rejoicing because it is the Lord's Day. Hey, you know, uh, you know about the placebo effect, right? Uh, the placebo effect, that's when you, you, know, you give somebody, you say you're going to give somebody medicine and they take it and it makes them feel better, but then really what you gave them was a, a placebo, a sugar pill or uh, just maybe a piece of candy or something. You know, it, 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 was a, it didn't really affect the situation, but it, uh, but it, it makes, it kind of tricks the mind and makes them think that, uh, that, it, that it contributed to their, uh, to their feeling better. Well, you know, there's a placebo effect and that, that's when something helps you feel better, even if it really didn't. But there's also a nocebo effect, a nocebo effect. Uh, and that may be one of the results of cynicism. We're talking a little about cynicism this week and, you know, what it means to be in this kind of place of always distrusting other people and always thinking the worst. There is a, uh, there is a, a measurable and a noticeable nocebo effect. Uh, negative thinking, constant distrust, worry about the future. Those things have a documented effect, a research-based effect. They can lead to higher levels of stress, of heart attack, of strokes, and of early onset of dementia. So a placebo effect, that sugar pill or whatever it is that makes you think you're getting better, thinking about things that are awful. Cynicism can have a nocebo effect on your life. Uh, I love what Kerry Newhoff, uh, founding pastor of Connexus Church in Canada, says. He says this about cynical people. He says, cynical people are rarely curious. Why? Because cynical people always know the answer and always know that the answer is bad. It's not good, right? But curious people, curious people are rarely cynical. Curious people are rarely cynical because we're always looking for something new, for something that's, that's coming next. I know this is a hard time in a lot of people's lives and there is a constant draw to cynicism right now. But I wanna tell you, exercise creativity, exercise curiosity. Think about what good thing could come, what good thing you can contribute to your own life or even better, what good thing you can contribute to another person's life. And I think curiosity may be one of the things that helps to cure cynicism for you and for the circle of people around you. And I think, I think curiosity is really close to faith. And that's something we value, isn't it, as followers of Jesus? Let's pause and pray there. Father in heaven, forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us when we've gotten stuck in cynical thinking and speaking and acting. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive others who have led us into cynical thinking. Forgive us as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hey, friends, uh, stay curious and avoid cynical thinking. Hey, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.